anything you wanted to do or people you might meet, it all was possible. Prior to that, there really wasn't a voice for independent film. Destroy everything before 1976, it's over, it's incinerated. We kind of came out of the destruction. It was part of that whole thing of getting the hell out of the art world and finding a kind of cinema closer to reality. I just bought some film from the drugstore, put it in the camera and started rolling. They would literally call up to my window and we'd go down the block and shoot a scene. It felt like we owned the city and we could shoot without permits, without restriction. It was right at the peak of the debauchery of New York. It was all about wanting to be very different from what mainstream movies and culture were. I'm looking for the graffiti artist. We are all graffiti artists. We're certainly darker. It was really reflecting the times. No one was holding back. They were telling the ugly, naked truth as they felt it and as they lived it. There were some things that we did in the films that I would never do now because I would be too paranoid that somebody would arrest me for it. You ever go film? Steal some film. I was detained at the airport by the police because I had movies on me. Our lives. I felt like our lives were movies. It was very cinematic. I felt like at the end, maybe this is gonna be some Warhol type thing, and one of these people is gonna come up and shoot me. It was like the best time, the worst time of my life. You ready to take my picture?